Hi, ISTPs and ISFPs. I have a very special and important message for you. Guess what? You don't identify very much with your tool function. When I describe extroverted sensing and talk about how people have good follow through or whatever, or um, it links to follow through or links to getting shit done versus just talking about it, stuff like that. Invariably, every ISFP and half the ISTPs go, oh, that's not me, I'm not SE. This just highlights the fact that you're deliberative types. You're deliberators. Your identity is linked to not pulling the trigger and making the decision. That's the tool function that's not even an absolute value. Your identity is linked to the fact that you have plenty of time to think it through. Now, in the INTP, that's maximally realized, or in the INFP, that's maximally realized, because not only do they want plenty of time to think it through, but then they want plenty of time to ideate about it as well. Come up with other possible ways they could think it through. That's the part that ISTPs and ISFPs don't do. And from my perspective, you guys seem decisive accordingly. It might be the case that you're going to be like, but I'm not decisive. I have trouble making decisions about things. Okay, fine. Let's say that is the case. Well, what about this, though? What about this? <laughs> what about this, though? Uh, you probably have, like, clear instances in mind like, I, I had to decide between me and me and I had a really hard time making a decision. Okay. That's not called having trouble making decisions. That's called having an easy time knowing what, making decisions about what you're making decisions about. It's like that's so far removed from my kind of lack of decisiveness that we mean totally different things by the term. So, this is one of the frustrations I have in typology. I will say things in a video describing a type as meow, and people will try to use that to then say, I don't know if I am that type because you said I'm meow, not recognizing the fact that the distance between what I mean when I say that and the self-comparison that another person does against what they think I mean when I say that or what they mean when they say that um, is so vast a difference that it's not a good way to type anybody. First of all, it's static. It's like, okay, do I match this static description, decisive, in my own self-concept? Second, it's, it's subjective data you're dealing with it, even if you're dealing with it from an objective calculus, if you're trying to be objectively self-critical or self-analytical, it's still subjective data, which makes it fundamentally squirrely. And... Uh, third of all, it only takes and it doesn't take into account the various perspectives. So your self-concept of yourself using decisiveness in what fashion? As a subject? As an agent? As an object? I mean, like, do you understand, like, what are your, what are your thoughts about the subject of decisiveness? What are your thoughts about you and the subject of decisiveness? And what are your observable behaviors regarding decisiveness? And how decisive you are compared to me, if I were to observe, or to a third party, if they were to observe the two of us, and compare our decisiveness, renders this not a good way to make any determination about your own, your own type. Those are all too many vectors for me to trust any kind of self-reporting shit like that. Um, especially given the fact that I'm already cutting corners when I'm saying ISPs are decisive in the first place. I'd like to exercise as much of that language from my approach as possible to say things like ISTPs on their tool function uh, default almost 100% of the time towards thinking things through and then deciding rather than thinking things through and then ideating further. If I say you're decisive, it's like you know, you're not obsessed with thinking things through. You are a deliberation type with TI or FI in the first slot, ISFPs and ISFPs. So, yeah, you're decisive from my perspective, but what you really are 
is somebody who understands that after you've thought it through all the way, the natural thing to do is to to be done thinking it through and decide, not to come up with new ways to think it through more. So anyway, this video is for you, ISFPs, ISTPs, and also ISTJs. Stop coming up with examples from your own life that contradicts things I've said about your type in general, and then try to use that as an argument as to why you might not be that type. That does not qualify as a good reason for anything. 